Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today I am going to explain that what is DevOps, what are the use of it, how can we utilize DevOps features and where should we implement all these things. So that's what we are going to discuss today. So first of all, let us try to understand that DevOps is inspired by Agile process. Agile is a methodology which says that we should build our application or you can call it code in such a pattern, in such a fashion, that that should be MVP. It means minimal viable product. The product which you are building, so that should be delivered, that should be deliverable in pieces. Then uh, DevOps is just not about tools, but it is involving or it is involvement of people and process. For example, if a single person is trying to implement DevOps, that is quite not possible. Reason being, all the teams which are part of that organization or which are part of development process so they should collaborate just to deliver the product in time it will require multiple tools it will require multiple processes so devops is a collaboration of people and process okay so devops is about automate automating the development release and operation process so what does it mean? It means that whenever we are talking about DevOps, so things should be automated. Each and every component in, a, in the organization should not be done manually. For example, if a developer is committing code, so developer is not supposed to push that code onto development or maybe on staging server. That should be done automatically once the developer has committed the code in GIT or maybe SVN repository. So that should be picked by some tool that should be built if that is required that should be deployed that should be tested automatically so devops is such a methodology wherein things are automated and these are working in uh, like proper process okay so devops helps the to speed up the delivery application to end users it means as and when any component is ready so we are not going to wait for entire product to be ready to be delivered delivered so if a new feature has been developed which user can start using and that is not having dependency on rest of components so that should be delivered that is what devops mean that is how devops is helping people to develop their application to deliver their application to end users because organizations end goal is to deliver new features to end users as they can uh, utilize it okay so it is about like continuous improvement for example Today we have one component automated and obviously teams are working. Teams in the sense whether that can be dev or that can be ops team or, or like both the teams are, teams are sitting together. They are putting their collaborative efforts into automation and they are obviously helping one another and they are learning something new. It means DevOps is all about learning and improvement. So whenever we are talking about devops uh, obviously like there should be proper communication channel and all so whenever there is something which is known as communication so it means everything should be in written manner if there is a gap that has to be mitigated by scrum masters and there should be proper communication channel okay so what are the best practices of devops implementation okay so first of all all the top leaders of organization should agree that definitely we are ready to adopt DevOps process. Reason being, because when DevOps comes into picture, so, so many organizations and all the developers who are working there from the very first day, they have problems. Reason being, because whenever there is a change into like uh, previous method methods or pre previous methodology, so people are not ready to adopt that. So that should be agreed and that should be accepted by your top level management there should be a certain need of change what does it mean like if you have a plan to go for devops implementation so you should try to understand that what is need to what is the need here to implement devops do we really need it so it should not be like there are only four people working and, and all the four people are sitting on the same table and they are implementing devops so when there are gaps when there are communication gaps so then the devops should be there to fulfill to bridge that gap okay then after uh, devops team always encourage people to communicate and obviously there should be a collaborative effort 
to bridge the gap between development and operation team because there is usual thing see, which is seen that developers are saying that our code is working on our development server operation team is saying that it could be working but when it comes to production it does not work so there has to be a bridge there has to be a person a team or a process which can fill in the gap between development and operation team there should be a bridge so that bridge is known as devops it means devops team cannot say that this issue is coming from developer side devops team cannot say that this is coming from operation side because they are devops it means developer as well as operations guy those are so they are responsible for whole soul things it means if something goes wrong then devops team has to take help of developer or from operation team but definitely they have to provide the solution now devops implemented uh, implementation is not successful without ci cd so as early, within previous slide we were talking about so ci cd should be there it means continuous integration and continuous deployment should be there without that devops implementation is not successful moreover devops team has to ensure that application is working fine at all the appropriate level how does it should behave on dev, on dev, development server on staging server on testing server and finally on production server after deployment there should be proper sanity for each and everything for each and every component of application there should be testing it could be possible that the particular component which you are going to deploy today that can break down some other component which were earlier working fine so for sure there should be proper sanity now what are the key components of devops so obviously continuous integration continuous testing continuous delivery and continuous monitoring so what does continuous integration mean continuous integration mean that a developer has developed the code developer has committed the code to source code control then after it's time to release there should be a tool to build that code then after once that is deployed so there should be proper testing and once testing is done so a report should be published whether the software is working fine or not so that's the thing here if things are working fine then developer will go on to next uh, phase of development if that is not working then developer will start immediately start work working on that particular piece of code which has gone bad so that is known as continuous integration it means as soon as developer commits the code onto git or maybe svn it means your source code repository that should be triggered for deployment now what is continuous delivery continuous delivery mean that when we plan for de for development or which developer will create it someone will verify it then after your uh, software it could be jenkins it could be bamboo it could be circle ci or so uh, so on and so forth there are multiple tools these tools are used to build or to you can call it like package the software then after it will be released then after it will be configured properly on production environment because obviously we have separate environment on dev and on production environment we have separate databases we have separate uh, urls so that will be properly configured and finally it will be monitored if things are working fine then we will have a plan for new development if things are not working fine so we have to plan then how we can fix it so it means plan create verify package release configure and monitor so this particular cycle goes on in continuous manner that is why it is known as continuous delivery now what is difference between uh, continuous delivery and continuous deployment so both the things are almost same but at the very final stage if you see if you try to understand so there is only one difference that if within continuous delivery all the things are done automatically on a staging environment and on production environment but when it comes to deployment so code commit is automated test test cases are written in automated integration is automated acceptance test is automated but when it comes to continuous delivery so we deploy code to production server in manual manner but if it comes to continuous deployment so continuous deployment means code commit test integration acceptance test and deployment to production all the things are automated if things go to, goes bad so obviously there are some checks if the things, things are not working fine this will be rolled back automatically so this is how things work and this thing is known as continuous deployment so as, if you see at the very last section if, uh, at the very last boxes so there is only one change one difference is there in continuous delivery we have to deploy to production in manual manner but if it is continuous deployment we deploy in automated manner that's a thing okay 
And now, very final thing is what are the tools which we used for DevOps in today's industry? So first of all is Jira for requirement gathering, for task tracking, for uh, your uh, task estimates, estimation like how, like how many, how much time we are going to take uh, for using a sprint user stories, planning, and obviously like perform performance uh, gather performance measurement, how much time is being given to what project. So these sort of tasks are performed using Jira. Now GIT and SVN, these are like uh, source codes, source code, ma source control management tool. These are whenever your developers are doing code. So they are pushing their code either to your uh, Git or to SVN. Same here, like if you're talking about Bitbucket, so Bitbucket is also indicated with Git or maybe SVN. So that is uh, that is public SVN tool. Jenkins is used for build and deployment. What is Jenkins? Jenkins is a Java based tool where you can create your build and you can start deploying. You can integrate SonarQ for test automation. You can integrate artifact repository with Jenkins for sure. Like if you want to collect artifact on a different server so obviously or on the same server you can integrate artifactory as a repository or you can deploy this as, as a separate uh, software so artifactory or nexus both are your uh, art, your uh, artifact management software uh, which you can use in the same manner if you talk about bamboo so bamboo is a replacement of jenkin either you can use jenkin for deployment or you can use bamboo sonar cube is for code quality testing docker Docker is a tool which is uh, which is used for containerization of your application. It means you can run your code in separate environment. Uh, if you really want to go for Docker, so I have created somewhere 40 or 45 videos on my channel. You can check that out. Then after Chef, Puppet and Ansible, these are CI. It means continuous integration tool, sorry, configuration management tool these are. If you, if you have 500 or maybe 1000 servers, you need to modify any single configuration file. So you need not to go on to every server. What it will be doing is you can modify on your master where from you are managing your configuration management and that will be done. It means there is no other need to log into every server once you have configured it. So obviously your things will be managed automatically. Now Kubernetes, Kubernetes is orchestration tool for Docker. Whenever you have uh, maybe thousands of Docker running, you want to automate them, you want to auto heal them, you want to like, uh, you want to go for some additional level of configuration. So definitely Kubernetes is there. Nagios and Splunk are for monitoring and uh, all the tools which we have just discussed about. So base of all the tools is Linux. So it means Linux is such an operating system. If you want to be a DevOps, then you must know that. Without Linux, it will be really hard to deploy and to debug and to manage your tools. So Linux is the boss. That's it. So this is it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good time. Happy learning from server again. If you have any further queries, so please do write in the comment box. I shall be happy to assist. Thank you.